Yeah, and I, I love that little bit in your website, Shivani, where you, I think it's like a little changing visual about how um, you mention um, our choice in brands tell us something about, you know, who we are, our choice in memes, our choice in ice cream. And it was really cool how you designed that visual. I think it's right about your bio on your website, but that's so true, you know, and we often don't think about it. And, you know, like what kinds of movies do we like to watch? What kind of TV shows do we like to watch? And it's really interesting, even when you are meeting someone uh, for the first time, like once you get past the conversations about work and, you know, general background stuff, you're often talking about, so what are you watching these days? What are you reading these days? And I wonder why, uh, we often tend to move towards that line of questioning. Is it because we want to find someone that has um, our, our same vision of the world? Or why do you think we do that? Uh, Very interesting question. I, I wonder what the agenda is for everyone. Everyone asks that question and I'm sure everyone has a different agenda or different intention in asking it because maybe someone is trying to look at what new shows that are out there that they should catch up on or someone's uh, trying to read the person and yeah. trying to like, oh, I want to get a sense for um, the kind of content you relate to because uh, the way you emotionally identify with or connect with a piece tells somebody else a lot about who you are as a person. And I feel like I think high, I don't know why I pointed at myself when I said highly emotionally intelligent people. <laughs> But I, I mean, I like to think that I'm a good people reader and um, that's usually a go-to question is, uh, what are you watching these days? So that's usually my intention behind asking is like, I want to get a sense for what you like, even in terms of sense of humor or, um, you know, if it's like uh, crime shows or if it's uh, um, thrillers or you know, nowadays we watch all sorts of things. I think they, they span genres and people don't like to restrict them to one. But um, even if they're watching something that's trending, like if mm -hmm. they're watching Succession because everybody else is talking about it, or they're watching something that's more niche and pure and something nobody else knows about because they like to sort of nourish their own um, interests. So, yeah, I think like either way it tells you a lot about somebody and maybe there's also like a third category like somebody who's just asking the other person what shows they're watching to find some common ground and to be like okay yeah let's talk about this show what do you think of the characters in it and you know how do you relate because i want to find an icebreaker so it works this question is a good question for <laughs> i guess like it's a versatile question to use in any social setting yeah yeah i think yeah, and I think different people have different answers to that sort of um, question too, right? And I, yeah, it's just it's very interesting to think about why we make certain decisions and how we would not associate with those decisions maybe five or six years down the line.